there, Brown Knuckle News fans. Susan Tagore here in Miami with Yuli the Monster Diaz, who has a big fight coming up August 10th. So, Yuli, how are you preparing for your next fight? We, we signed the contract already. You know, uh, I had a guy fall out. A couple guys didn't take the fight, but yesterday we got somebody to sign it. Um, you know, he's a veteran also in Bare Knuckle and looking forward to this fight. So, um, I know you just got your fighter announcement yesterday, but have you had any time to look at any tape? I mean, what, do you, what is the game plan for it? Well, yeah, after they sent me the name yesterday, we ran it by my coach. We took the fight. You know, we, walked, we looked at a, a little bit of film. And, uh, you know, I always look at film on my opponents. And regardless of the fact, we've always, you know, I never stop training. I'm always in the gym. I'm always staying ready. So, you know, we'll be more than ready for August 10th. When do you normally find out about your opponent? Because we're not that far away from the fight. Um, you know, usually it's eight weeks, six weeks. But, you know, this has happened to me before where we've had opponent changes the week of the fight. Um, and that's the fight game. That's the way it goes. So, again, you just got to stay ready. How does that affect you mentally, though? You know, kind of, you're working here now. We're here today. The fight is on August 10th. And, by the way, you should tune in because it's going to be an amazing fight. But mentally, how does it work for you? Because you don't, didn't know till today that you actually did have an opponent and who it was. You know, it doesn't affect me mentally. We, you know, again, we stay ready. Uh, we have a bunch of great sparring partners. We keep doing the work. Once we get the name, we kind of figure out what their flaws are and what their moves are in the ring, and, and we work on that. You know, we kind of sp specifically work on that. But, um, you know, mentally, I, I try to stay as ready as possible, as least stressed as possible, and, uh, and just stay in the gym, keep working. Stylistically, how do you think you match up with him then? I think we match up great, you know. Uh, we're two dogs, you know, we're going to meet in the center of the ring. Uh, I'm going to try to play my game as much as possible, stay away from him, letting him play his game. And, uh, but I think it's a great fight, it's a great matchup. How does this training camp feel different to you? Because you've mentioned a potential retirement. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, the retirement is definitely, you know, after this fight. That's, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, that's kind of in the back burner right now because what's important is me getting ready for this fight, uh, getting ready for this guy who's, who's going to stand in front of me. And, of course, I want to ride off into the sunset with a win. So that's what's most important right now. Uh, and I'm looking forward to working with BYB, you know, post-fighting, helping out the fighters, you know, being a guy in the background, also doing content and commentating for them like I've done in the past. Um, so I'm looking forward to a bright future, but before we get there, we got to handle what's in front of us right now. All right, well, Yuli, I can't wait to see you back in the Trigon with your hand raised on August 10th when you beat Shrek. We'll be there. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview with me. And remember, right now, you know what we do. Right. For Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Segar, and this is... Yuli Monster, and no one... Beats us to, to the punch. punch. Show me where you live at. St. Louis City, where I live at.